to no one in this realm. No one owns me. I own this vehicle through which I am experiencing consciousness in the physical domain. And all you can do is destroy that vehicle. You'll never destroy me and you'll never own me. You'll never control me. Because I understand my sovereignty under the Creator. Incidentally, you can see the serpentine energy of the water flow to the right-hand side of the city. And at the very top, that little lake that is out, the out, that outlets at the very top of that, this whole alignment along this 38th parallel, that lake there above the torch of illumination is called Kingman Lake. King man. When we get to that level of illumination, then we are granted access to the waters and are no longer confined to the prison planet on the land. And the waters is a metaphor for space, real freedom, being able to go out to, into the stars, explore. Meet other civilizations because we have come together and recognize our sovereignty and aren't a species that's going to do harm out there in the waters, the heavens. I would, this, the, the, the gates that are slammed shut on this prison planet are not going to open one second before we recognize that level of sovereignty in each and every one of us and are willing to respect it in all others. There is no authority in man, ladies and gentlemen. Does not exist now, never has existed, never will exist. No man is God, no group of men is God. There is only one creator and man is not it. We can create in the image, in the, in the type of power that we're, we're given here to actually create and be like the, the true divine creator, but we're not it. Some of us, unfortunately, think that we're it. And that's why we've gone horribly astray. Understand this symbolism. It's all around us in plain sight. That's all we have time for here today, folks. We're out of time. See you next Sunday right here on What on Earth is Happening.